Welcome back to the Old Golden Black. I'm Tom Rouse and today I'm reviewing the fantastic result again against Nottingham Forest. A 2-1 win, a hard fought, good second half uh, and one outstanding individual performance. One of the best individual performances at Wolves that I've seen possibly ever. Let me know in the comments down below if you can think of anybody who's performed better in a one-off game than Diogo Jota has today. I thought he was exceptional. I thought that every time that he got the ball, he looked as if he was going to score or make something happen. We've got to sign him in January. If we're going to, I mean, hopefully by January we'll be in a real promotion race and try and convince him to be able to come. The fans love him. He looks as if he enjoys playing at the Wolves. He's our star man and he's standing out head and shoulders about of any other player in this division and he took both of his goals very very well the first goal from Cavaliero's ball across the box I thought it had gone wide but he just about got it in the corner of the net uh, good finish from a short uh, from a close distance but then the second goal credit to Bonatini for a great pass credit to the referee for once this season for playing advantage and allowing Jota to get into that position, who composed himself and put the ball away so, so well. Great travelling support as well. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen such a tanked up, drunk away support ever, but that created a fantastic atmosphere behind the goal. Uh, lots and lots of positives from the game. I thought Doherty, again, had a very, very good game. He's quite... Underrated, I think, in that sort of right back role because he's lacking a little bit of pace, but he's getting into more attacking areas as well uh, and looking very comfortable in defence as well. The defence throughout the whole game were very, very solid and didn't let Forrest have any chances. And barring a fluke shot, which I th John Ruddy is to blame, I, d I don't know what happened, I haven't had a chance to see it again. It was as if he didn't see the ball at all. Uh, and he just sort of went in halfway through the net just above his head. It was odd, odd goal. But that sort of re-emphasises my point from last week against Millwall that 1-0 is never ever enough in the Championship because freak goals like that and flukes and mistakes can happen and we can end up dropping points. But fortunately today we fought back really well like we did against uh, Bristol City on, in the week and we came away with three valuable points. So let me know what you thought about the game in the comment section down below. We're in the automatic promotion places now, mid-September. Can we continue this sustained pressure on promotion places? Can we get promoted this season? It feels very positive. I can't see us at the moment dropping out of those two, top two places. I think the football that we've played and the way we've controlled games at home has been exceptional. And the way that we're able to play football and come away with results away from home as well. We're still yet to lose a game away from home. We've only dropped two points against Brentford. I'm a little bit hoarse. What do you think about the football? What do you think about the our season as a whole? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And we move on to Tuesday's game against Bristol Rovers. In the League Cup. So a little bit of a distraction almost. And then back to it next Saturday against Barnsley. The game's coming thick and fast. Don't forget, this is the only place where you're going to get reaction to every single game. Straight after the game. Or as close to it as possible. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Come on the Wolves.